Hey everybody, your friendly hospitality, Glenn here. And I know a lot of you out there are finding a lot of pressure when it comes to making sure that your financial balance sheet is correct. One of the financing solutions that we're seeing a lot more about out there today is something called sale leaseback. And I know it's new in the industry and I think it's a little bit time for us to get into a little bit about what this is, what it means and how it can help your business. To help us learn today, I have with us uh, Mr. Andrew Broad of Robert Douglas and Stephen Schwanz of Zell Capital Partners. Gentlemen, it is so great to see you. Um, Andrew, let's start with you real quick. I know people don't really know about it, but tell us a little bit about how you see it and why you think it's going to become more into the forefront when it comes to hospitality financing. Look, I think we all know that there's a difficult capital markets facing the hotel industry today. And again, I do break it down to in, into a, a story of have and have nots. Uh, you know, if you have cash flow, low leverage, you know, clean assets, you, you might have more options available to you. I think there's a lot of other folks that are facing low maturities, pent up PIP liabilities, and you know they're having to decide what to do next. And I think that the sale leaseback uh, is an option to consider. You might find that it leads to you know better leverage points and potentially lower cost of capital. And it's certainly it's, worth exploring today. Interesting, Stephen. Tell us a little bit more about how it works and some of the specifics behind it, please. Well, it's definitely, uh, you know, like, like Andy said, you know, it, it's definitely an option that, that is, is now out there uh, for the hotel operators to take advantage of. And, you know, your leverage point is much higher uh, if you have good stores, uh, you know, good units with cash flow. It works. Even if you've got properties that are coming out of COVID, it, it clearly works. Um, it just depends upon the situation that you have. But most most cases, I would say, where we're coming in at, we're leveraging up uh, these properties much better than you could do, uh, clearly with the banks, to be able to take out the CMBS and help you with your PIP uh, and then keep moving forward and maybe even free up enough capital to build more hotels because this program clearly works for that as well. And that's what I really like to hear, a way to be able to solve those current solutions while maintaining your operating company and potentially even getting you access to be able to invest in more properties. Really interesting solution. We're definitely going to see more about it throughout 2024 and beyond. I'm Glenn Hausman. That was Andrew Broad and Stephen Schwanz. Thanks for watching.